before we start, I'd like to give a who shout out to all my Patreon members. All credit goes out to them as it's their support that is helping me create these videos. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment to FM Scout's YouTube page. Peace and enjoy the video. Hello guys, I have created a new Discord server called RDF Tactics F. Um, it will be a Discord server where you can share your tactics, upload your tactics, even self-promote your own stuff. Please, please come and join and we can talk some Football Manager stuff. It will be one of the best communities around. Thank you guys. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to FM Scout's YouTube channel. It is RDF and today we're going to be doing a similar video that I did last time with my centre backs where I created a filter for you guys to download and I'm just going to be showing you a few guys that you may not have heard of just yet but you may know of them but never thought of signing them and maybe because you don't know what role to play them in. So in this video, we're going to be looking at some target men. We're going to be looking at the target man filter. Target man is probably something that is not used very, very often in Football Manager, but hopefully this video can encourage you guys to maybe try out this role because it is a very, very good role. I think anyway, especially when you're playing a little bit more cautious, it is a very, very excellent way to turn over possession, get the ball in the opposition's half very, very quickly. So as you can see here, I've set it up, I've got the striker position selected and the height I've gone for six foot this time. Maybe you don't have to be just as big as the opposition's defenders. Like I said, I like my defenders around six foot one, six foot two. I've got my striker, my target man at six foot because maybe sometimes the very, very tall strikers are a little less mobile. For the attributes that I have selected, I have selected first touch. I feel that is important so the target man can control the ball and have the ball under possession. I've gone for heading, technique, aggression, anticipation, bravery, composure is also very important for hold up play I feel, concentration, decisions, determination, I've also added flair but the flair will be very very little, it is not going to be important but maybe it will help finding a very nice defence splitting pass, it, maybe it helps, maybe it doesn't. Off the ball I have also selected, teamwork is going to be important, work rate, balance, of course jumping reach and strength to hold off the opposition's defence. So when using this filter, if you want the very, very best of the target men, you can always match all 17 out of 17 attributes and of course you're going to get the well-known strikers, the Lewandowski, Harry Kane, and when you edit the search and you put 16 out of 17, you're going to get a little bit more options. And you notice that Milic is now in there, Divic Origi. Some of these guys will be very, very capable of playing a target man. When you're selecting the player, you have to look at the attributes. Make sure they have got the attributes in the right place. For example, strength that is needed, I feel, balance, composure, first touch. I feel these are important and I feel some of these attributes should be included so now we're going to look at a little list of some hand selected target men i feel will be great for your team the first off is dusan vlahovic i think that's how you say his name he's a 19 year old balanced personality which means there's maybe no negative ones everything is well rounded his estimated cost is between 12 and 26 million he's six foot three he's strong good and composed decent finishing his first touch can be improved but he is only 19 no doubt first season a good first season he will be a wonder kid very very good signing you can pick him up between 12 and 26 million Next on the list will be for teams in the lower, lower leagues. His name is Torles Null. I don't know. There's pronunciations in his name. I don't know how to say it. But another one. He's six foot two. He's got a decent jump and reach for his height. He's got decent strength and balance. He's finishing and first touch is there. Decisions can be improved, but he's got decent composure. For the lower leagues, this guy will be an excellent, excellent coup. He's just signed for his team. So at the moment, there is no estimated cost. But next is Adolfo Geich. 
Six foot three. He likes to beat the offside trap. So maybe we are looking at a target man on the attack duty. He's got a fairly determined personality. CSK Moscow may not want to sell as they just bought him. But as you can see from his stats, he's very, very decent. Not bad at all. Not bad. Next is Ermedin Demirovic. Oh my God, I am going to have a nightmare trying to pronounce some of these names. He's Bosnian, he's 21, he's very, very decent. I feel he's at a very good level for maybe a top league team, but not a top team like a Manchester United. We are talking about the Newcastles, the Aston Villas of the league. He's got space to develop, but he's a well-rounded player. His jumping, reaching strength is not the greatest. Hopefully his height can compensate on that, but that is something that you will want to address in training. Next is Adrea Patenga. I know this is a lot of people's favourites that do know of him. He's 23 years old. Excellent, excellent attribute, especially for a target man. And look at his estimated cost between 4.2 and 6 million. His trait is play with the back towards goal and he plays 1 2. His teamwork is on 18. Very, very excellent target man on support. 100%. Great signing. Next is Carlos Vinatius. Again, another one. I've seen a few people sign this guy and they've used him as an advanced forward. But I don't feel that might be his best role. I feel Target Man is a very, very good option. Target Man on support because as you can see here, he also plays with his back towards the goal. Next is Bruno Petkovic. I've, I've, <laughs> Jesus, some of these names, man. I, am, I need to work on it. But again, very, very good player. I'm not sure why we can't sign him. He's been there already. I'm not sure why he doesn't want to leave. Maybe he's just signed a new contract, but very, very good player. Next is Vidat Moriki. Lazio just signed him, but he is going to be available on loan sometimes for you guys. Again, very, very good target man. Six foot four, very strong in the air, very good concentration alongside very good heading. He plays with his back towards the goal. He plays one twos and that works very well with teamwork. Next is Luis Felipe from Sporting. Very, very good target man here, especially for a league like the Portuguese league. He's very strong. He's got decent finishing, first touch and heading. His teamwork is not the greatest, but he's also got some mobility. So maybe a target man on the attack duty is suitable for this guy. Next on the list is Niklas Fulkrug. You know what guys, I'm, his name is Niklas. <laughs> He plays for Werder Bremen, they've just signed him. So I am using the transfer updates. So I'm sorry if I can't get an estimated cost for these guys as some of them have just moved to a new club. But this guy plays for Werder Bremen currently, Nicholas Fulkrag. He's very, very decent. He's six foot two, good in the air. He's a very, very good target man. Next on this is Daniel Dinchek. He likes the ball play to his feet, but once the ball goes to his feet, if you look at his attributes, he's very big. He's got very good balance. He's very strong, decent teamwork and composure so when the ball's played to his feet it's very unlikely he's going to lose the ball very very easily he stands at six foot three he's a very very good target man but if we will if we're looking at his wage <laughs> huh, i'm not sure he might actually be an option for you guys but he is there in case you guys do need a target man next on the list is junior brumado he's young he's got very very good potential to be able to play in a top league soon when signing him you will need to maybe develop his mental attributes a little bit he plays for a team that i cannot pronounce again for some reason he just does not want to leave maybe he's just signed a new contract but a very very good option for people that are in the lower leagues maybe and looking to get promoted to the top leagues this guy will be the one for you on the list we also have a player called klaus he's going to be very very good for you in the lower leagues the estimated cost is between 2.9 and 4.1 million he's got a balanced personality he's six foot three he's strong decent balance and jumping reach very good composure i feel for a lower league and heading he's got decent tackling it's a bonus it's a bonus Next, we're looking at a very, very talented youngster. 18 years old, Lorenzo Luca. Currently plays for Palermo in real life and on the transfer updates. Not 100% sure which team he is on at the start of FM20. But this guy, if you can develop him, oh, what a player he could be. What a player. And last and not least on my list is Bruno Henrique. Now, this guy, he's a target man. But maybe you want him on the attack duty. If you're looking at his acceleration, his pace, his off the ball, his flair, his dribbling. Oh my word, he can be a dangerous player. One thing that lets him down, 
his physicality, his strength, and his jumping reach. His jumping reach is only on 13, but his strength doesn't help him. But because he is six foot, he's still a nuisance for the opposition. He's good in the air. He's got decent composure and first touch. He's a very, very good player. He's also got a minimum release currently at 26 million pounds. But that is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to download the Target Man filter. Of course, there is going to be a lot of names on this list that I have missed out. I am just trying to pick some obscure names. But when you download this list, you are going to get more well-known players. And maybe you're going to find players more suitable for you and at your transfer budget. This has been RDF. It's been a pleasure. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Stay safe. I'll see you soon.